Hey all, Johnny Mullet here with another update on the bus build. This will be episode 12. We have power. So I have the entire 110 volt AC and 12 volt DC system wired and ready to go in the bus so we can start doing some construction. So let's show you what we got going on here. Uh, these are my solar panels right here. On, well, the solar panels are on the roof. This is the charge controller and the two wires from the panel, positive and negative, go here. And then there's a positive and negative that you run down to your batteries. Okay, so make sure you have your batteries hooked up to the controller before you hook the panels up. It says in the uh, manual not to hook up the panels until the battery's hooked up. So I also got the power inverter wired in. And I do have these fuses here. I want to wire this power inverter into one of them and one of the solar panel wires into the other one. But I just wanted to make sure everything works, so I just wanted to test it out and then I'll finish doing it up. Um, my 12 volt DC fuse box is here with a few of the things I already wired. And I'm also going to fuse that. So this is uh, two 6 volt golf cart batteries and they are 225 amp hour each they're wired in series so positive to negative on one side and then on the other side use your negative and positive for all your sources so let's check this baby out um, power inverter let's turn it on there we go and let's plug in this 110 volt grinder and see if she works here. So yep, 100% free power all from the sun. Isn't that awesome? So, let's see if the 12 volt works. Up here we got the fantastic fan. How fantastic it is. I'm going to open her up, and here's the switch. Oh, look at that. Low, medium, and high. It works. Pretty cool, huh? So I also have the wiring run back this side for my 12-volt water pump, um, any other lights I'm going to have and also for um, what else 12 volt outlets are going to be have run back to the back of the bus on this side we have some more wire in case I want to run anything um, these are the cabinets already for the power distribution box I just got done polyurethane them after staining them so first we stained it with this summer oak and one coat of stain and then after about an hour and a half of drying clear gloss polyurethane to protect it so those panels will be going on this power distribution box and it'll be awesome um, I got all the switches and everything ready to go so that's gonna be cool alright and we're back and it's story time uh, we'll make this real quick. I'm glad I got my electrical system working. So everything's ready. I got everything wired. Uh, 110 volt wiring is just going to go right there through that panel. No problem. Um, I'm going to insulate. Finish framing. Um, I did get some more framing done on this side. And as I showed you earlier, the power distribution box and everything's done. So awesome. And there goes the neighbor down the driveway. Yep. How you doing there, bud? Yeah, I bet you he likes seeing the big old yellow school bus sitting out here at the end of his road. Oh well, he'll get over it. He hasn't said nothing to me yet, so. So good, I keep my area clean, man. You gotta keep it around the bus clean. You don't want to have all your garbage and crap laying around, so. You know, keep them happy. But anyway, we got power now. Episode 12, we have power. It's an awesome thing. All my 12 volt and 110 volts are ready to go. So now I can really start going on this uh, interior of the bus. So we can start getting cabinets built and getting the bed built, get the shower stall and everything else. So 
I'll let you know what's going on in the next video. And for now, thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed. See you next time.